What do you believe? Therapy. Um, I believe that people are not born gay, that they come into homosexual feelings, uh, and that it is something that in some cases is reversible for people who want to make that the trajectory uh, of their should, lives. And why should it be reversed, these homosexual urges that these people suddenly experience? Because it's inconsistent with some people's value systems, and they, they want to you be mean true yours? to themselves. You mean your value system? Well, I think we're here today because there's clearly a population group who feel that they do, are not comfortable with homosexual expression. Well, it probably and doesn't they help if they're being yeah, called you, you, an you aberration. Know, do you know what we call these people, Dr Michael? We call them horrible little bigots in the modern world. Mm -hmm. Just bigoted people who actually talk complete claptrap and are, in my view, a malevolent and dangerous part of our society. What's the matter with you? How can you think that nobody's born gay and they all get corrupted well, and they can all be cured? Who are you to say such garbage? Where's your where's evidence? Where's my evidence? Where's my evidence? Where where's my evidence that you were born straight? Where is your evidence, where's your evidence that, that you homosexuality were born straight? is something that is innate and right. unchangeable? Where is your Not evidence? Not even the American Psychological Proof Association... To me. Proof to or the Royal Dr. College Michael, of stop Psychiatrists for a moment, right? have stop presented that evidence. Stop banging on about wacky, backy scientists it's in America. It's evidence. Where's the evidence? I'm asking you a question. It's this. Prove to me that you're straight. Why do we have to stick to a binary label system? Uh, sorry, sorry. I just asked you a simple Prove question. Prove to me that I'm straight. Prove to me scientifically that you are straight. Two children. Yeah. I have been with my wife for 35 so years. Of gay you've also had, you've also had gay sex, right? Left Haven't you? homosexual practices. Right, but you've also had gay sex, right? I have. How many times? I'm not going to tell you. Ball, ballpark: ten, a hundred, a thousand. How many times did you experiment enough, with this abomination? Enough to find that this is something that I wanted to change in my life. So how do you know that scientifically you're not actually gay? How do I... Why do I care about that? All I want is to be well, you free... You seem to care very much about people like Josh. You think he wasn't born no, gay. No. He got corrupted <laughs> by these urges and now needs to be cured by St David... Uh, St Michael, who is cured. here to, to rid the world of the scourge of homosexuality. You've to which it. I say, shut up, you old bigot. You've, you've got it wrong, Piers. Sorry, but this you... is ridiculous. <laughs> You're not giving people who have a right to find their own pathway in life the freedom and the space to be able to do Has that. Has it crossed your bigoted mind that gay people may not want to find your path? The gay right? people that they may be quite happy who come in being my direction gay, and actually they don't do want to be want told to they change. can be cured of this aberration because that's deeply offensive. For, for some people it is. And they need to have the dignity and the freedom to live life as they want to. But there are other people who want to go in a different direction. And they need to be protected. If we're a truly democratic society, we will protect minority rights.